Hello everyone and welcome. So before we start, I just wanted to apologize for ending the last video so abruptly, but I actually decided to split my Pi game tutorials into episodes because I noticed the video was getting too long, and so I'm actually going to cover uh, jumping in this video. So before we start, I'm going to assume that you already have all this code that I have here, and if you don't, you can watch my last video where I explain everything I did. Um, and the second thing is um, when you run the code, uh, you can see that uh, the square is uh, moving quite fast. Uh, now you could change the velocity of the square, uh, but that's not really going to fix the problem in the long run. Uh, so you actually have to add a time delay to your game. So to do that, uh, you just have to write uh, pygame.time.delay. Uh, I'm going to set mine to 60, which is the optimal uh, value. This is in milliseconds, uh, just so you know. And then if I click run, uh, that should fix it for you. Now uh, the square is actually moving too slow, so I'm actually going to increase the velocity to, uh, to 10. Maybe 10 is too much, I don't know. But uh, let's try it, 10, like so. And now let's run the code. And there you go, it's uh, moving quite fast still, but uh, it's uh, better than the first time. And this is going to be important for our jump. So you can actually like change this. Sorry about uh, all this uh, time that we're wasting, but uh, you can skip this part of the video um, if you want, okay. Okay, so jumping. Uh, so before we start actually coding our jump, I'm actually just going to define a few variables. So jump is going to equal um, false by default. So by default, we're not going to be jumping, jump like that. Uh, and then um, jump height. So this is the maximum height that my character is going to reach uh, when it jumps. That's going to be 20 pixels. And then my jump velocity is going to equal jump height at first. You'll understand why later. And then my gravity is going to equal uh, five. And this is what's actually going to pull us down after we jump. So just like in real life, gravity uh, pulls you down, right? Okay, so I actually want to use my space bar to jump. So I'm going to write if keys and then uh, pi game dot k and then space, which is the code for the space bar. Then jump is going to equal true. So my character is going to be jumping. Okay, so let's uh, let's start coding the jump itself. So I'm going to write an if statement, if jump, so if we're jumping, uh, then our y position is going to decrease, right, because we're going up. And I want my y position to decrease by jump height, which right now is equal to jump velocity. Uh, so I'm going to set it to jump velocity. Um, don't set it to jump height. This is actually important, okay? Set it to jump velocity. Right now, jump velocity is equal to jump height. So y is actually going to decrease until my character reaches the, the jump height. And now I actually want my character uh, to move back down, right? So I want my jump velocity to, um, to decrease, right? Because otherwise the y is just going to keep uh, decreasing and my character is just going to keep going up. So I want my, uh, actually this is vel, right? I wrote vel, okay. So I want my jump velocity to decrease. And like I said, the gravity is what's going to pull us down. Uh, so I'm going to write jump vel minus equals gravity. And so what's going to happen is uh, my character is going to, um, the, the speed of my character is going to increase and then it's going to decre decrease until it reaches the negatives. And so it's going to go back down. Uh, the thing is, I don't want it to fall down indefinitely. I want it to fall down just until it reaches the starting position. So I'm going to write if jump vel is smaller than minus jump height, then jump is going to equal false. So I'm actually uh, going to open the whiteboard here because this is kind of hard to understand. So imagine that our character is right here and then it's going to jump up, right, until it reaches the maximum height, which is this. And then I want it to come back 
down until it reaches the starting position, which is going to be minus jump height, right? Because this is uh, the jump height. And so the starting position is going to be minus jump height. Uh, and so that's why uh, when jump velocity is smaller than minus jump height, so the starting position, we're going to stop jumping. So jump equals false. And now I have to... Um, set jump velocity back to its original value, which was jump height, like so. Uh, okay, and that's it. That's all the code you need. I'm going to um, run the code. Okay, you can see our character moving. And then if I press the spacebar, it's going to do a little jump, right? And I can even like do it while I'm moving, while I'm going down. And uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, so that's it for this video. I hope uh, it was easy to understand. I know this isn't easy at all, um, but if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask, please, because I'll help you in anything you need. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.